Today, I'm gonna teach you how to mill Monel K500. What's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. We're getting back into the Monel today, all right? So a few days ago, we popped up a video milling Monel 400. Today, we're gonna take it up a notch to actually mill K500, all right? We're showing all materials, okay? So we just did Hasseloy and Inconel and Titanium. We're doing different types of steels and A286, all of it. So anytime you have questions or you're about to mill, drill, or machine a new alloy or crazy material, you can simply go to Titans of CNC Academy, search for that material, and then videos will pop up to show you exactly how to machine per your application, all right? So before we cut the K500, I just wanna say, if you love the education that we're throwing down, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want us to teach us something, put it in the comments and you might see it in a future vlog. All right, so let's get back to it. What is K500? So what they do is they actually take the 400, they melt it, they add in aluminum and titanium, and then they heat it for like a day and a half. It goes to 1200 degrees for 16 hours, drops down to like a thousand degrees for another eight hours, and it just goes through the process. During the process, the aluminum and titanium distributes and crystallizes around the grain structure, which creates the hardness and strength in the material. So in simple terms, after the hardening process, K500 has three times the yield strength and two times the tensile strength of the 400. When we were in titanium, we we're up at like two to four, 460 surface foot, right? We go over to ink and now we drop to like 200, 210, 225. And now we've gone to the Monel, which has a higher nickel content, 64%. And then you brought in the copper at 32%. So again, we dropped our surface foot down to 180. When it came to the K500, I was actually gonna drop it a little bit more, but I'm just gonna make a point here. It's the same material, it's just harder, right? And stronger. But in that, sometimes being harder is actually better because it's less gummy. So it actually might break a chip a little bit easier. So let's keep the speeds and feeds exactly the same just to test the philosophy and see if this end mill can actually handle it all right so we're at 180 surface foot 0 0.0025 chip load let's do this All right, so we just finished the K500. It looks absolutely beautiful. Chips look amazing. So besides the chips looking great, the machine sounding perfect, the Harvey 3 end mill still looks absolutely 
perfect. And that's how you milk K500. The right speeds, the right feeds, rigidity in the workpiece, rigidity in the spindle, the right tool, the Harvey 3. And if you put it all together, it cuts like butter. Boom.